Elon Musk just sent a strong message to the government officials who are currently deciding what is going to happen with the Senate infrastructure bill and how that will apply directly to cryptocurrency in terms of who has to report what to the IRS when it comes to crypto transactions. Brian Armstrong, who is currently the CEO and he's also the co-founder of Coinbase, had some very powerful words to say on Twitter. And this is actually the thread that Elon Musk responded to. It starts off by saying, there are a few key moments that define our future. One is happening now in the Senate with the infrastructure bill. At the the 11th hour, Senator Mark Warner has proposed an amendment that would decide which foundational technologies are okay and which are not in crypto. This is disastrous. Senator Mark Warner has asked for proof of stake validators to comply with the impossible, but not proof of work miners. Why? It's not clear, but we could find ourselves with the Senate deciding which types of crypto will survive government regulation. This is the government trying to pick winners and losers in a nascent industry today, where some new technology is being developed every single month. They are guaranteed to get it wrong by writing in a few exceptions by hand today. Imagine if the government decided that iOS is okay, but Android isn't, and that software developers building on iOS can thrive, but Android is outlawed. Our senders are voting tomorrow on the future of innovation in finance and crypto in America. If they choose the sender Mark Warner Amendment, we will see the future development of blockchain technology move offshore to countries like China that are currently embracing it. Crypto is still in its early stages. Innovation across this country are working to make crypto networks better, enabling new apps like NFTs, smart contracts, and DeFi. These will bring enormous benefits to Americans and help ensure our place as a financial hub. If the US fails to embrace the innovation happening in crypto, if risks become a financial backwater, missing out on one of the fastest growing sectors of the economy, imagine if we had missed out on the internet and the largest internet companies had been built overseas. This debate in the Senate started because the government sees the growing crypto industry as a source of tax revenue. We agree that everyone must pay their taxes. There is no debate on this topic, but destroying some of the most exciting innovations in the process is unconscionable. History will not be kind to any politician who tries to block America's access to the new technologies. Americans have a very low tolerance for taking away our rights and harming our economic growth. Contact your senders and urge them to vote for the widen loomis toomey Amendment and vote no on the Warner-Portman Amendment. Let's keep crypto alive and thriving. We're just getting started. Then Elon Musk comes in and responds, agreed, this is not the time to pick technology winners and losers in cryptocurrency technology. There is no crisis that compels hasty legislation absolutely destroying the senders who are trying to move this through so fast. Why the heck are they doing that? It doesn't really make a lot of sense what the government does oftentimes. So this is why we need some massive improvements in our government and they should absolutely stay away from going too hard on crypto right now until they have time. And even then, they should be very careful not to go too far. I'm Matt Wallace. This is Final Stand and I will see you in the next video.